What is up, investors? And welcome back to the Everything Crypto Show, where we bring you the latest and most important news moving the crypto markets, DeFi tutorials on how you can optimize your crypto holdings to earn some juicy yield, as well as deep dives on projects we see as having huge potential for the future. Now, as always, please remember that I am not a financial advisor. Nothing on this channel is financial advice, rather my own thoughts, opinions, and research that I have compiled and broken down for viewer education and entertainment purposes only please invest responsibly as i want this community to thrive and i love and appreciate you all and just some quick house cleaning if you have not yet hit that sub and like button please consider doing so as it costs you guys nothing and it does mean a whole lot to me and if you do want to keep up with all the moves that we are making in the market in real time then definitely follow us on twitter or join the telegram channel both links will be in the description down below and if you are following us on Twitter, then you will know we are doing a giveaway to celebrate 12.5k subs, and we are giving away 10 free Kronos domains as we have partnered up with Kronos Name Service. Now, if you guys have not yet entered this contest, go ahead and do so by following all the steps as the winners will be announced tomorrow. So today will be the last day for you to actually go ahead and get yourself entered into this contest for your chance at a free Kronos domain. And with that said, we're going to get right into today's Crow Weekly Market market update and for starters here we're going to talk about this article that came out on may 1st this was actually the crypto.com visa cards update and the reason we mentioned this article again is because this released on May 1st and it is now actually May 29th and the relevance of this date is that after these changes came out and a lot of people were upset they basically said that they were going to unstake their crow from the crypto.org chain staking to go ahead and sell it now for those of you who don't know when you actually do unstake your crow from the crypto.com DeFi wallet there is a 28 day unbonding period so over the past couple of weeks I was getting a ton of questions about you know is crow going to dump on the 28th of May because that would officially be, you know, 28 days after these visa changes were announced after a bunch of people unstaked. And I predicted it would not be because the entire market has been already tanking this past month. And I think that even people who, you know, did unstake to actually sell would either reconsider based on the price or reconsider as they started to calm down and realize that these visa changes were not the end of Crow. And we can actually take a look at this chart right here. And it shows you that this was the change day right here on May, on sorry, May 1st. And then by May 3rd here, we're already down significantly on how much Crow was staked. But you can basically see slowly that pretty much after like four, three or four days of major FUD, that people did go back to just staking their Crow. And we were pretty much right back where we were um, in total Crow staked before these visa changes were announced and the price action definitely does reflect that as this is crow then you can see here that you know may 28th we were around like 16.9 cents and we're actually up from where we were on may 28th so we did not dump like many people were expecting in fact we did quite the opposite and this is something that i personally was expecting i did not expect crow to dump based on this news but for any of you that were freaking out about that you can kind of lay that to rest now as the may 28th dump did not happen now, I actually found these statistics even more interesting. So what this is showing us here is the percent of the price drop since these cryptos all-time highs. So we can see that Bitcoin has dropped 57%, ETH 62%, BNB 54%. And then we get into some of these other alts here. And then, I mean, we see like XRP down 88%, ADA, Solana, Polkadot, Dogecoin, AVAX, Shiba Inu, all down 80 plus percent and crow down 82.25 percent so crow was definitely not spared by the ugliness in the crypto markets however despite all of the fud in the crypto markets as well as the fud specifically related to crow what you'll notice here is that over the past year out of the top 50 cryptos crow actually came in sixth place for best performance up 52.5 percent so if you had bought crow one year ago today you would still be up 52 percent on your investment regardless of all of the fud that has come out lately so once again just something to i, I think to really put in perspective that does demonstrate the long-term strength of this project now speaking of long-term strength and moves that crypto.com is making 
we can see that they have actually hired another executive at the company to further the firm's Web3 ambitions. So as managing director, Quan Park will lead Crypto.com's partnership developments and attempt to map out new business opportunities as Crypto.com is hoping to drive its Web3 ambitions across four product verticals with the addition of this new executive. So Quan Park did formerly actually work as an executive at Bittrex, so he does have some experience in this field, bringing tremendous expertise in developing and operationalizing complex opportunities across a range of disciplines and a deep understanding of how to effectively scale in the crypto industry. And this strategy involves leveraging products along four main verticals, including payment, financial services, trading, and the metaverse. The strategy creates and self-sustains a virtuous cycle. Payment channels bring users onto the platform. Trading and financial services generate revenue that can be reinvested into payment and used to build the ecosystem to offer full suite crypto services via the white paper. And this is the white paper here that pretty much breaks down how they are looking to break into Web3. And we could do a little more of an in-depth breakdown on this white paper in the future, but just know they are making moves to be at the forefront of the Web3 revolution. Now, moving on here, we saw a nice update to the DeFi wallet this past week that now supports Phantom and have Avalanche on the C chain. And what this means is you can now actually scan and send AVAX and Phantom to your crypto.com DeFi wallet. You can also actually access decentralized applications through the crypto.com DeFi wallet for both AVAX and Phantom. So once again, just huge expansion of this DeFi wallet. And I do think that this will be very, very important moving forward as crypto.com is making this push into DeFi. And I do think that as the SEC continues to clamp down on centralized exchanges, that this is where more people are going to flock to with time. So always good to see these improvements coming on to the crypto.com DeFi wallet and this could ensure that crypto.com not only has the biggest centralized exchange in the world but also the biggest hot wallet in the world where you can actually access all the DeFi applications through this crypto.com ecosystem. Now, we were talking last week about how Kronos Name Service announced that you could actually begin to make crypto transfers using your .cro domains, and this feature is now live. So basically, what you can see here is that you must own a CNS domain, and an ETH slash Kronos address of this domain must be set to the crypto address you want to receive the crypto. So you can basically type in your wallet addresses right here for ETH and for the crypto.org chain address, and then you can basically head over to the Kronos domains transfer site and you're going to see a screen like this you can then enter the dot crow name that belongs to the crypto address which you want to transfer crypto to so in this case you would type in cns.crow and then you would actually select the token that you want to go ahead and send to cns.crow and boom you can just send it to their wallet so this was the same thing with ethereum name service the same thing with unstoppable domains these basically just take a bunch of mumbo jumbo wallet addresses and put them into easily digestible identities that people can actually memorize so I really do like the concept of this project. And the other thing that Kronos Name Service did um, this past week was actually list themselves on Ibisu's Bay. And what this means here is that you can actually now sell your Kronos domains as NFTs. So for example, if I bought, you know, Johnny Depp.crow and Johnny Depp wanted that Kronos domain, he would have to buy it on Ibisu's Bay because there can only be one of every domain minted. So basically you can go ahead and head over to Ibisu's Bay if your domain or your wanted domain has already been taken. You can see what the other person has listed it for and you can buy it from them to claim the Kronos domain that you want moving forward. So very, very interesting indeed. And I do like to see Kronos name service making these moves to expand the ecosystem. Now we got more game find news coming out for crypto.com and the Kronos chain. And you know, if you've been on this channel for a while, the game is something we are absolutely looking for crypto.com to penetrate in the next couple of months, at least by the end of this year. And we can see here what the announcement is, is that Meta Wars has partnered up with Cyborg Swap Shooter. Now, Meta Wars Shooter is a Web3 GameFi project built on Kronos, and they have actually announced a partnership with Cyborg Swap in a bid to stimulate growth and bring 
bring positive results to the project. And what's going to happen here is Meta Wars will utilize Cyborg Swap's experience in the industry as an NFT orientated DEX on Kronos. And what's going to happen here is this move will be a part of Meta Wars Shooter's bid to effectively launch its forthcoming NFT collection. And Cyborg Swap could play a key role in helping the project innovate and push forward. They say here that Cyborg Swap brings a wealth of experience and value to the project. They will act as advisors, provide their platform for Meta Wars Elite NFTs sale and staking, and will also provide a long term support to Meta Wars Shooter through their relationships with other key Chronos chain projects, provide access to other geographies, idea generation, and participation in governance. So, as Meta Wars Shooter looks to establish itself on Chronos, this latest partnership will offer them as an important pedestal on which to build on its following and consolidate the growth of its project. So what actually sets Met Wars shooters apart is the asset the asset ownership as they will be establishing a platform where users will be the verified owners of their in-game assets, something we've talked about as being very important for Web3 and blockchain gaming. They also talk about hybrid gaming here as the game is both a first-person and third-person shooter. They also actually allow you to choose one of two opposing factions and influence the outcome of conflict between the two. There is also faction ranking and staking rewards as well by actually staking your tokens and NFTs. And here is a little bit of a roadmap, but this is definitely something we are going to be keeping an eye on. And if you guys want to know just how this game looks so far, let's just watch this quick trailer. It's 30 seconds, but you can see what we are working with and why I'm keeping a close eye on this project moving forward. So that is the game so far. Not much gameplay to actually take a look at as it is still very early concept, but I do like the look. I do like the graphics of this game, and I definitely think it is something to look forward to as Kronos does really dig deep into GameFi and blockchain gaming. And uh, I mean, if this game is one of the first successful games to actually give people true ownership of their assets, whether it be characters, the customizables for these characters, as well as the guns and any other like melee weapons for these characters, potential vehicles, there's just so much they can actually do here with this metaverse game. And I am incredibly actually hyped to see where this goes. And we haven't even seen any real gameplay yet. This is very early concept, but so far it does look like it may have the potential to be that triple A blockchain game that we have been waiting for. Now, moving on to my favorite part of the weekly Kronos market update, we are going to take a look at some of the growth statistics from this previous week. And the first thing we'll notice here is that Crypto.com has actually flipped Binance by daily growth rate in volume with Crypto.com coming in at 107% growth rate and Binance coming in at 79.97% growth rate. So Crypto.com here has effectively outperformed Binance by about 30% here in terms of a daily growth rate in volume. And if this, you know, sort of does continue to pick up steam, the gap will continue to widen and eventually it will be be much easier for crypto.com to claim its spot as the number one centralized exchange we can also see here based on the top evm blockchains by tvl crypto.com is still sitting in fifth place at the moment however we will see that chronos is actually very very close to actually falling out of fifth place and we're going to talk about that when we get over to DeFi llama but here we can take a look at the social metrics of the chronos token in the last seven days feel like a lot of people don't think this is very important, but I actually do because the name of this investment thesis is very simple. We believe crypto.com will become the number one centralized exchange. And one way that is going to happen is through social awareness. So looking at these social metrics and kind of seeing how people are feeling about Crow is, in my opinion, very indicative of where we are headed. And what you can see here is that from the people that were included in this survey, 
64.59% of them report buying, 23.68% are just sitting on their crow and hodling, and 6.7% are actually selling or avoiding this project, with another 5% who are pretty much neutral. So what that tells you right here is that about 89% of people who were involved in this survey in the past 7 days are either buying or holding their crow. And I think these statistics also reign especially more important in a bear market. As a matter of fact is, is that a lot of alts are not going to make it out of this bear market. This is when a lot of people begin to really look at their alts and start considering selling some and moving it over to Bitcoin or something they consider to be safer. So the fact that we see this crow community being stronger than ever, even throughout a bear market, is very, very good for the long term, in my opinion. Now, what we'll also see here is in terms of the Kronos chain growth and the top DEXs on Kronos by 24-hour trading volume, MM Finance absolutely smoking the competition here with 111.9 million in 24-hour trading volume, and then VVS coming in in second place with only pretty much 15 million in trading volume. So MMF is doing like six to seven times the 24 hour trading volume of VVF finance. And the reason I find this so like surprising actually is because you can see here MMF has pretty much fallen off a cliff, okay? This thing used to have 1.3 billion in total value locked on the Kronos chain. It is now cratered all the way down to 308.9 million, while VVS has actually reclaimed that number one spot with 839 million. But clearly, people are not giving up on the MMF decks. Clearly, people still love to use MMF's products, as this thing has seen a huge uptick in trading volume. And if they can continue to see a sustained uptick, I would think that eventually this chart will begin to reverse and. MMF will begin to creep back up higher, but really time will tell. And I think I am going to make a more dedicated video just to MMF to sort of describe what has been going on. Why did they crater like this from 1.3 billion all the way down to 308 mil? And why has the MMF coin pretty much cratered like 90%? So that's something I think we're going to talk about in a future video. However, we can also see here that really kind of just pairs up with this statistic here. What we can see is that in terms of the top native decentralized apps on Kronos by daily users, MM Finance once again is in the lead by a significant amount coming in at 9.88k daily users compared to only 3.6k daily active users for VVS Finance. And last but not least, we can see the most held tokens on Kronos by total holders. And this is where VVS does have the advantage over MMF as they have 87,000 holders. And then in second place, we got Wrapped Crow with 45,000 holders and MMF in third place with only 31.8 thousand holders. I think this number would have been a lot higher a couple of months ago, but given this massive pullback we have seen in MMF, I am pretty sure that that was just a whole lot of panic selling and therefore the actual amount of total holders for MMF has dropped quite a bit. However, the volume and the daily active users on the decks have been growing steady and what that does signal to me is that over time the actual people who do continue to buy and hold mmf will increase and now just taking a look quickly at how we are doing here in terms of the chronos chain growth in terms of all blockchains we are still in seventh place overall a chain that has been out for just over six months is in seventh place across all blockchains and total value locked I mean, just think about that, guys. And if we go ahead and actually take a look at the EVM chains, what we'll see is that Kronos is still in fifth place. However, I am definitely a little bit worried that they may actually uh, get boshed down here to sixth place as Kronos is in fifth place with 1.65 billion in total value locked. And Phantom here is in sixth with 1.64 billion in total value locked. So Phantom is literally just 100 mil off of actually being tied with Kronos. And then if we take a look at fourth place, Polygon is sitting at 2.54 billion. So about 1 billion more than Crow, or rather 900 mil. But basically the gap here between Kronos and Polygon in fourth is like a bill. While Kronos can actually fall out of fifth place if Phantom is to only gain like just over 100 mil in total value locked. 
So I will be keeping a close eye on Chrono, seeing if it will actually be able to maintain this fifth place spot. But long term, we are not worried about Chronos at all. And I would expect Chronos eventually to work its way into this top three, in my opinion. So I hope you guys did enjoy this Crow Weekly Market Update. Let me know what you are thinking in the comments down below about the Chronos ecosystem and how you are feeling about MM Finance, as I do plan to make a video on that in the near future. On that note, I hope you guys all have a peaceful and restful Sunday. I love and appreciate you all. Catch you guys in the next one.